and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. My name is Tony Edelbrock and today we'll go over a few different processes on how to get our survey data off of our Windows 10 controllers. So we'll just take a peek here. Uh, our new Trimble controllers here listed, uh, the Trimble TSC7, uh, Trimble T10, and Trimble T7. As you can see, they're all on a, a Windows 10 platform. So in essence, uh, much like your PC or your laptops uh, running Windows 10, these controllers are just a Windows 10 laptop basically running Trimble Access as a software program. Uh, just a side note here, the Yuma 2, uh, if you have that controller, uh, is a Windows 7 based controller. Uh, and just an FYI, that the end of life phase for that controller was uh, January 14th of 2020. Um, some people have asked, you know, hey, can we put uh, Windows 10 on these Yuma 2s? And the answer to that is no. Uh, the reason that being is that the uh, Windows 10 uh, doesn't support the existing Yuma 2 drivers and the processors on the Yuma 2 uh, don't have uh, enough memory or, or sufficient space uh, to run uh, the use of Windows 10. So uh, we've been asked a few times too, you know, what is the easiest way to, to transfer the data from our controllers now uh, that they've upgraded from maybe a TSC3 uh, to these Windows 10 controllers. Um, just starting at the, the top left here, what this is is the, the Trimble Network Hub or Desktop Hub. Uh, and what this does is you can see the cable there, that USB plugs into your TSC7. Uh, the other end goes into this little uh, desktop hub box and then on the, the back there you can see kind of a, a network uh, cable uh, that would plug into your uh, desktop hub here and what that would do then essentially it would be have your your TSC7 uh, or Windows 10 PC basically uh, connect up to your to your uh, local network so say you're for a government entity uh, and you have your uh, you know, local network. Uh, maybe you want to map a drive. So maybe you want to say, uh, you know, you, the T drive on your on your PC is actually just the the drive to log into your uh, TSC7 controller. So an easy way to basically go onto the network, grab your data right off of your TSC7, and, and drag and drop uh, to either you know maybe TBC or a different location on your network. Uh, top middle uh, is going to be your uh, you know familiar USB hub basically or thumb drive thumb stick as some people call it uh, easy way uh, to get data from one uh, unit to you know your PC uh, if you use a TSC3 uh, even a Yuma I'm sure you guys are used to using these even for your everyday everyday use um, again just pop it at the bottom uh, just do your cut copies to your thumb drive and then you can just obviously just paste it onto your PC uh, top right is going to be your Trimble sync manager uh, what this is is just a cloud base uh, system from Trimble uh, with the new Windows 10 you have a little more functionality with this uh, we do have a video uh, on our Frontier Precision YouTube page that does go through the process if you'd like to learn more about this cloud-based system from Trimble uh, bottom left just a, a Gmail account you know you can set up uh, an email account on your TSC 7s uh, so uh, you're out in the field and you want to uh, save your or maybe say a CSV file and just email it to yourself so when you get back into the office uh, open up your email, boom, you have your CSV file just emailed to you. Uh, again, you can do your drag and drop or save it to whatever file you'd like. Um, and then bottom middle, uh, Dropbox. Uh, we've had some customers do that. Uh, Dropbox or uh, Google Drive account. Uh, another cloud-based system. You can save uh, your files right to the right to the cloud from the field. Uh, you get back in the office. Oh, again, open up your Dropbox account or Gmail or uh, sorry, uh, Google Drive account, and you can download your files from there. And uh, then the last on the bottom right here is a. This is not a Trimble product. This is a third-party product uh, that I, I've tested. It does work. Uh, I just picked these. Uh, it's what they call a USB to USB cable uh, with data transfer. Uh, I picked it up at a at a big box store, uh, roughly $30. Um, so if you just want to kind of maybe go old school with it, you know, plug in a USB to your TSC7, plug the other end into your PC, uh, you can also uh, transfer files that way. All right, and then one last way I want to show you guys uh, is a wireless file sharing between Windows 10 devices. So obviously our controllers are Windows 10, and if you have a Windows 10 PC or a Windows 10 a laptop, uh, this might be an option for you as well. Uh, all you need to do is go into your uh, notification center in the bottom right of your screen and just see if you have this uh, nearby sharing box. Uh, if you do, uh, this will be an option. Uh, if not, uh, then unfortunately you won't be able to, but I just want to touch base on, on this one. Okay, so I do have uh, just a, a dummy job set up here on my emulator. I'm just going to kind of go through the, the process here quick. Uh, so I'll just make a, so make a few 
shots here uh, in my emulator. Uh, just name a point name, uh, 1000. Uh, just kind of entered in some some random data here, uh, real quick. I'll just take a measurement on this. That looks good. I'll just take a, a just a couple more shots just for uh, some verification here too as well. Well, and I'll, I'll add a third just just for the sake of adding a third. All right, so I got just some just some random shots in here, quick. Uh, so I'll just end my end my survey here. And it looks like it's about done here. So this is on the screen of my TSC7, and on the bottom right next to my time and date is my notification center. So if I, I click on that, I just want to make sure that my nearby sharing is enabled. Uh, you can tell that by it being highlighted blue. So uh, one thing I do also like to do on my TSC7 is on the bottom left, I do have a Trimble data folder uh, as a shortcut. Just makes you know getting into my my job files or uh, system file folders for my geoids or templates uh, just really easy uh, to access. So I like to make that a, a shortcut on my TSC7. So if I click on that, open up my projects, go into my Stearns County projects, and you can see my nearby sharing job is on here. So if I highlight that and then I do a tap and hold, I get the share option, which is be the second one down. If I click on that, it's going to ask me what do I want to share with. Uh, you can see the the name of my computer here is Jarvis, so I'm just going to click on Jarvis, and this will start the transfer process. Uh, so on the bottom right, I'm receiving the file from my TSC7. I can save it, and then it says, "Hey, my." transfer is complete I can open my folder or I can just close out of the TSD 7 here and then once now on my PC if I go to my file explorer open up my downloads folder uh, my nearby sharing job is already in here so if I need to move that somewhere you know I can do my right click save it to wherever I need to or in this process here I'm just going to open up TBC quick and I can just do my uh, drag and drop uh, right from my file explorer uh, into TBC just to do my my checks See the file has been transferred, and this looks like this the, the three shots I, I took in access. So, uh, if you need to do some some checks uh, on your imports, you can do that. Um, just turn on my uh, feature codes here at the bottom. And you can see I do have my uh, feature codes that came in, so I know that those are my shots you know, that I took in just my emulator. So, just an easy way to uh, transfer data from your Windows 10 controller. This concludes our Frontier Precision Tech Talk for today. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you next time.